Hey guys, what up? Jackie Cooks here. How y'all doing today? I hope you are doing well. Today we're going to be having elotes. Sweet corn, Mexican corn, whatever you call it, it is so delicious. It's fresh, it's juicy, it's hot, it's tangy, and it's buttery. Fresh corn is always better than any other corn. What do you think about that? Now, I've had this corn for about two to three weeks, but I haven't had an opportunity to make it, but today is your special day. I have about 13 ears of fresh corn right here. Now, I just wrapped it up in a plastic bag and I dropped it in my deep freezer, and it's gonna taste just like it was picked today. Now, you can use any kind of bags that you want, but I just tripled uh, the Walmart bags and I put six ears of corn in one bag and seven ears of corn in another bag and I just triple tied it very tight and fresh corn is the best now let's say if it's winter time and I want some fresh corn I could just pull my other bag of corn out of the freezer and cook it at this time, let's prepare our corn for the grill. Preparation time, yes. We wanna remove all the silk as much as we can because we don't wanna eat that. Just pull the husk back and remove as much silk as you can. Some of it's gonna come off during cooking, but it should look something like this. Now we're gonna cut off the ends that are damaged because we're not gonna eat those and they're not very pleasant to the eyes. So we're just gonna go ahead and cut off those ends. We put our husk back in place and I secured it with aluminum foil to keep the moisture in. We're just gonna in. keep turning the corn over while it cooks so that it will cook evenly. And when you bite into it, that juice is gonna just pop out right on your face. <laughs> Upon cooking, the husks are going to get a dark brown in color and you're gonna smell the sweetness of the corn. This is one of my favorite creams. We're gonna mix this with the mayonnaise for our coating for our corn. It is good, guys. Now you guys know I love Hellman's because Hellman's is number one. My friend makes this corn and oh my God, I can't believe she uses Miracle Whip. I've never heard of Miracle Whip on Mexican corn, but hey, whatever floats your boat, whatever you like, that's what you use. I just wanted to show you guys my now, favorite I whisk. Warn you, this is not a fat-free dish, but you can add low-fat mayonnaise if you want to. We're gonna mix our cream and our mayonnaise very well until it's creamy and smooth. With my favorite whisk, I love this whisk. I just wanted to show you guys, it's so little and so cute. One of the ways that you could tell that your corn is ready is by the smell, the aroma that eludes from the grill. Oh my God, it just smells so good. The smell of sweet corn on the grill. I can't wait to bite into this corn. I can't take the smell anymore. I have to take it off so I can hurry up and make it so I can eat, guys. We're gonna remove the husk all the way around until there's no more husk on the corn and it looks amazing. Turned out great, didn't it? I did insert chopsticks at the bottom because that's what I had in my kitchen and it works very well. I love this right here, so convenient. I like using the spray parquet butter because it's less mess and you can control the amount that you put on the corn. Here we go, baby, let's get this party started. We ain't playing today, are we? Let's get on and get down. Shredded Parmesan cheese. I wanted some cojita cheese, which I usually put on my corn, but oh my God, they were sold out. So I had to settle for the Parmesan, but it's still gonna be good. Uh-huh, yeah. Look good, don't it? Gonna look even better when I sprinkle this on. And tasty. There he is, Mr. Tapatio. Now you know you can make this corn as hot as you want it. You can add some hot sauce, add some Tapatio. Now I like Frank's, Frank's is my favorite, but I'm out today, so I'm gonna put just a little bit of Tapatio, and I know my lips gonna be burning. My lips gonna be on fire, but it's a good burn. <laughs> it's a good burn. Don't you just wanna take a big bite? <laughs> now you 
guys know I love adding lemon to any recipe because it enhances all the flavors. But today I'm going to be using some lime. Lime is just going to bring out all the flavors of this delicious, juicy, sweet corn. Oh my God, I can't wait to bite into this corn. Even the limes look fabulous, don't they? Thank you so much for watching. Talk to me in the comments. I always talk back. Thank you for your support. This is the best corn I have ever, ever tasted.